baby texting my phone. Bitch, I cuss from my chrome. Put up, link up, let's see what you What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kodak I'm Matt Man. Today, I got a QA video. Um, I went on my Instagram and I put a story and I put ask questions like things you want to know, things you want to know more about me, things I do in my life. So I put a Q and A, ask whatever questions I ask. That's what we about to answer. So let's get into it. So the first question of the day is, and this is a crazy question. That's a crazy question. I kid you not, it's one of the first things you see. I'm not gonna sh show it fully, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to make sure. Do you eat the butt? Do you eat the butt? I don't do that. Me, personally, I'm not doing that. I, whatever floats your boat, though. Different shows with different folks. But me, personally, your boy Kodak Matt, not doing that. Not doing that. You ain't never gonna hear about me doing that. And if you ever do, which is never gonna happen, it is not true, it is just not happening. You eat food and all that, come out there. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even put my like, tongue. That's not it. You know, I might be saying that because I'm young, not in a committed relationship, or married, or like at least 20 plus. I'm not doing that though. So maybe that's why I say that, but I'm not doing that. Because, you know, I gotta be realistic. But I'm not doing that. Me personally, I'm not doing that. So, next question. Where's body? Ooh. You know, I never think I had a bad body, but like, you know, I had this one girl, like, I don't know if she maybe wasn't attracted to me really 100%, maybe, maybe it was just her, but that thing was dry, dry, D-R-Y, dry, you know, trying to spit it, or that's just didn't work. It, it was just dry. It was a very not good feeling. It, it wasn't a good feeling. It, it was a good feeling. You know, still trying with her, trying to feel me. Just wasn't a good feeling. I want to say it was that bad. It was just, you know what I'm saying? I messed with her as a person. I still messed with her as a person, but it was just dry. It was just, it, it wasn't good. You know? So, what to say, like, it was bad, like, she's a good person, but that was, I don't know. It was just something about down there, it was going right. I don't know. Do you have a best friend? Boys, no, I don't do that. Boy best friend, that's, no, nah, we're not doing that. Girl best friend, yes, I do have a best friend. Her name is Mariah. Y'all gonna see her in the video soon. She's a little mad at me right now, but that's still my best friend. I love her to death. You know, we went to high school together, I met her, like, uh, sophomore year, um, she came my best friend, you know, buying me food, buying her food. I used to try to copy off of work, you know, copy off of work, you know, graduated together. So she became my best friend, you know, we chill, you know, she come over sometimes, watch a movie, sometimes she come, blast music, you know, things of that nature. Okay. Are you gonna do blind dates? Um, yes, I'm gonna do blind dates. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of blind dates, not a lot though, but blind dates, you know. I don't make interesting blind dates. Um, I have a lot of friends that are single. So I'm gonna try to put them on blind dates, you know. You know what I'm saying? All my friends have unique personalities. Like, you'll see them in later videos, but all of them are unique. They all have their own different style. Not None of my friend group is the same. None of them is the same. They're all different. And I have a lot of different friend groups, but I'm talking about my main group. My main group of friends that I talk with every day and do most things with, they're a very unique group. Those are my boys, I love them to death. Top five artists. No, I don't have a top five though, but like, cause I have a lot of favorite artists that's, that I know personally. I know a lot of them, I can name them right now. Like, I can name a lot right now, but I'm not gonna do that. I give you top five artists that's in the industry, but top five personally that I know, it's a lot of them. A lot of them though, it's too many though. It's, it's, it's just like, see me? I show a lot of love, but a lot of the songs I mess with, like I mess with a lot of them, and I got artists like in Queens, out where I used to live, in Queens, my little cousins is rapping, they got their label coming out soon, y'all gonna see them in the videos, 
I support them to the fullest. The older ones too, I support them to the fullest. So I don't got no favorite artist that I know personally, but favorite artist mainstream. My favorite top one artist though, 100%. If you know me, you know this here, it's Lil Durk. 100%. 100%. Polo G. Young Boy number five. Young Blue at number three. G Herbo. I go. No, I just listen to a lot of them. Lil Durk, my favorite rapper. He's been my favorite rapper for a long minute. Since I was younger. I think the first ever song I heard of him was like Molly Girl. The once I got into Molly Girl. Songs before that though, like 52 bars and stuff like that. But Molly Girl was really like the first ever song that I really like listened to. I was young at the time. That I really listened to. I really sat there listened to us. It was fire. And just been a Lil Durk fan ever since. You know what I'm saying? But that's just top five like. Mainstream, but personally though, it's too many. If you, if you an artist and you know that I know you, just know y'all my favorite artist. There's no favoritism. What age did you lose your V card and how? Ooh, it's tough. You know, this is a this is a story. You know, I just told my mom just recently. So look, this is crazy. I was just a young age. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, so I'm young. You know. Thing not looking, you know what I'm saying? Stuff, things in that nature. And I was just, you know what I'm saying? Just mad young, she older. Oh. She wasn't late. Like, I told my brother I was He needs some milk. It's crazy. I was mad young too. I was so young. Like, told my brother I got the shrimp, but I'm like, at that age, like, what you expect? 10, what you expect? 10, 12 inches? But like, what do you expect? That's crazy. Where's the craziest place you did something at? On a pair. You know, I was just on a pair catching them. Oh. Things of that nature. Oh. He needs you know? some milk. But in New York, though, you could get caught. In, like, you could see intercourse happening in the staircase, in the parks, train station. You know, staircases, though. Number one. <laughs> oh, the roof. Man, there'd be a lot of girls up there. Sir, sure. What's your favorite color? Uh, I don't have a favorite color. I think my favorite color is like, black, though. Like, that's a color. Like, it's a shade, so it's like, black. Black definitely my favorite color, though. You know? I don't know. I'm just like, I like black. I don't really like all the fruity colors. Just like black. Black my favorite color. Somebody asks, how many kids do you want in the future? How many kids do I want? They say, kids is a, kids is a lot of work. Money's involved. Emotions. A lot of stuff in that nature. I do want a son and a daughter. Do you soon want to have a couple too? Let me get this out of the way. I'm single. If I get a girlfriend, and y'all know, then maybe I'll do a couple channel. That's if she wants to, though. You know, I'm not, I'm not somebody that's going to want to put the camera in your face if you don't want to put be uh, on camera. I'm not going to do that. If you don't want to be on camera, then fine. That's fine with me. I'm not going to put you on camera. So I wouldn't make a YouTube, uh, YouTube couple channel. But it'll be authentic and not like a fake couple. Like, it's gotta be a real couple, real channel. Some people on YouTube, they be faking. Do you play any sports? So, all my life, I played basketball. I played basketball all my life. You know? I don't play it no more, though. Like, I just came to a realization, like, I'm not about to spend my time on this. And, like, I still play it, though, like, as a hobby. Y'all gonna see it. But I don't play it, like, play it, play There's people that's really out here grinding every day. I'm not sitting here grinding every day in sports, no. I might play it, but I'm not grinding every day. I used to grind every day. But then, it's just like, I'm not doing it. So, it's just, I don't play it like, like I used to. I do play football now. Y'all gonna see it. Like, not seriously, but I play in the league with my friends, like my close friends. You know, it's very competitive. I'm all right. I'm not that bad, you know, I'm just, my team, I play for a team in the league, it's called the Packers, and, you know, we do good, you know, I have a good coach, I love my coach, he be picking me up all the time, it's my boy, you know, me and my coach have a good bond, um, we talk, like, on a personal note, we don't really talk about sports like that, like, people may think that, but, like, we talk, like, on a personal note, like, if I feel like I need to tell him something, I could tell him, like, I know he won't judge me. Last time you had a kiss, somebody asked this. I don't even remember. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. What is your goal on subscribers? 
as many as I can get. Right now, short term though, I want to at least hit like 1K. We're in October. I want to hit at least 1K by like January, February, around there. If not more. But right now, I'm just selling for like 1,000. Because right now we're at 100. We're going to keep it going. I want to grow. I want to grow. You know what I'm saying? Better content coming soon. How long do you see yourself doing YouTube? Um, I see myself doing YouTube for a long time. The same person asked again, what made you want to start YouTube? So to clear this up, I never stole nobody's idea of making a YouTube. Me personally, I had a friend who passed away. And he wanted to make a YouTube. And I had made a YouTube at the time. And it was like 20, 2016, I say. Maybe one day I'll react to it and show ya. Like, I've been wanting to make a YouTube. Like, I'm gonna show ya. If y'all want me to react to it, let me know in the comments. Biggest goals you have for your YouTube channel? That's a good question. I guess the difference between subscribers, but goals. What is my main focus? Uh -huh. My main focus right now, like on YouTube, I just want to make content. I want people to watch my videos and feel like they had a better day. Or for me, they could watch it, laugh. Like from like a safe place. A safe place. I said space. Space, place, same thing, you know? Um, that's really my main focus. I don't want to feel like, I feel like anybody could talk to me about anything. If that's one thing about me, if you have a problem or if you have like something you're going through in your head, I feel like you could talk to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a judgmental person, so I feel like you could talk to me about that stuff. And another thing is too, I want people to watch my channel, to feel better about their days, to enjoy laughs, to see what my life is like, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I want my goal, my focus, is that. And as far as like content wise, I want to make way more better content. You know, just make content that's fun. Like, everybody that's around me, I feel like I have a good supporter right now. Like, people want me to stay on track. So, I, and I feel like I should stay on track myself. And, you know, people that support me, they want to see me do better. And I want to, I want to be better. If that's one thing, if you don't want to do it yourself, then you're not going to do it. Don't let other people tell you you have to do it so you could do it. You should be able to do it. Right now, I have that mindset. Like, right now, I have that mindset. Like, I, I got to do it. Because if I don't do it, then it's never going to get done. Like, I think that about anything. Well, I'm not going to do it. That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Favorite thing to do when you got free time. My favorite thing to do in my free time? That's a good question. Because right now I got a lot of free time. You know, COVID's here. I'm not in college right now. Um, I work though. So, after that, I don't know. I do whatever. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I like do whatever. And my friends say, like, my, one thing about my friends, which I'm going to realize sooner or later, like, it's just like late, late, late things. Like, late things, like. Let's just do this. We all just like, alright, let's do it. Like, that's just one thing. So, I don't really know, like, on my free time. Like, I might play the game here and there. I'd be on the phone. Like, I literally turn on the game and then just be there sitting here on my phone, like, you know, things like that. Um, play the game, though. That's another thing. Play basketball, football. That's it, really. Nothing like that. Hang out with my friends. That's it. That's what I really do in my free time. That's it. Who's your favorite friend? Listen, I don't have a favorite friend. Like you say at the top, like, I have a group chat of friends. They know who they are. They know who they are. Those are my favorite friends. They know who they are. My cousins in Queens, those are my. Those are my hearts right there. My cousins in Queens. Those are my favorites too. Like top, like favorites though. Like, like favorite, favorite. Um, I'll give y'all five names. Like 100% favorite. Like, I don't really show favoritism though. But those are just really like my favorite. Because it's like, I'm with them all the time. Like, if I'm not saying that they're one of my favorites. It's because, you know, they got other friends too. You know what I'm saying? That they be with. 
and I don't be with them, but when I'm with them, it's no, that's, you know? So I say the ones I'm about to name right now is like the ones I'm really with. Like, if you see me, you bound to see them. Um, it's no order though. My boy Jigga, my boy Najee, um, then it will be James, my boy James and my boy John Lewis, and um, that's it, really, that's it, like, and Bibby, Bibby, like, um, those are like, I want to say, those are my favorite. You want to call it favorite, those are my favorite. But those are the ones I really hang out with the most. That's why I say they're my favorite. They're just about who's, who I hang out with the most. Like, besides that, I don't show favoritism. Funniest drunk high story. Um, I don't drink, and I don't get high. So, but I'm turning 18. And, you know, I'm going to drink. I, I, I might drink a little... Just a little sip or two, nothing too crazy though. Like only on New Year's. Oh yeah. So New Year's. I was drunk. Not drunk. But like I was like, you know, a little you know, feeling nice. I was drunk though. And I say like the funniest story it wasn't really me that was uh, it was funny. But it was disrespectful. It was, it was only funny because it was disrespectful. Like Dang. I was like, dang. I was at a party on New Year's with my boys, you know. She's just drunk girls and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm chilling, vibing out. She comes to me, talking. She says something to me. She like, I thought you was a dyke. Oh, oh, she oh, like, he needs oh, some I milk. He gave you. I said, huh? Now, mind you, I'm feeling nice. I'm like, huh? What you talking about? Like, I'm like, nah, she's crazy, like. It's funny because she said like in a group of my friends, they were all just dying. Like, they were just dying. They were just weak. And I was sitting there like, Tyler. Did you really just say that? She really said that. Like, I don't get high. So look, this, this, I do not get high. Never, blunt, no, never. But my friends, they get, some of them get high. So, you know, they be, they be like, you know, they, they think it's funny, you know, it's a nice, have a hot box, you know, a hot box, you know, there's a bunch of smoke, no, no ventilation, no air ventilation. So, they think it's cool to have me in there, you know. So, I be sitting there, you know, keep, to keep me captive. One time, I went to the Bronx. I went to my friend, I was high, like, I was high. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to put it. I was high. I was high. Like, I was high. Like, like I don't, it was just, I was high. It was just mad funny. Like, it was mad funny seeing me high. Because it's like, I don't get high, so they, they got the chance to see that. They was weak. Like, they was all weak. Like, it was just mad funny to them. Getting high for me. That's just the simple this. That, like, that's just the simple of this. Like, I'm not getting high. I don't drink. I took one shot, maybe. But that New Year's though, I, I wasn't drunk. I just took, took a shot. So, so that's just the end to that. My dream job. My ultimate dream job was to go to the NBA. To go to the NBA. That was my dream job. Because at the end of the day, NBA is a job. Playing basketball is a job. You know what I'm saying? Especially NBA, you got that audience. It's a job. So, I always want that to be my dream job. Um, I don't consider YouTube like a job. I consider it something I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Something that I've been wanting to do. It's not a job or a hobby. Next question is, do you have siblings? Yes, I have a lot of siblings. Um, on my mom's side, though, I'm the youngest of five. I have an older brother, I have two older brothers, and two older sisters. And that just leave me the youngest. So, yeah. The question is, do you like living in New York City? Yeah. I do, I actually, I do like living in New York City. You know, it's more it's more convenient. Like, I don't got to go anywhere. I can just walk, go to the store, stuff like that. Other states, you got to drive everywhere. Like, 
Just because I love New York City, don't mean I want to stay in New York City. I do want to move. But just not right now. I'm young, I'm going to have some fun. When I get older, I want some tranquility, some peace and quiet. I'm going to move out of New York City. So, question is, when is your birthday? By the time this video up, it will be my birthday. Not by, not at my birthday. I'm trying to upload it the day before my birthday. My birthday is October 20th. I am a Libra. Now, listen. Don't clown me for this. I don't know nothing about Zodiac signs. What is the content we're going to see on your channel? Now, listen. I already said it earlier what I'm going to do. But, the content I'm going to put out is vlogs. They did, like, vlogs with me. I'm trying to upload every Wednesday and Saturday around that type of time. Like, every Wednesday and Saturday. Um, do vlogs, challenges, pranks. Like, me and my friends, we really competitive. Like, you know, they be talking crazy. They be talking OD crazy. Like, it's, like, they just be talking OD. Like, so I feel like we do some challenges, basketball videos, football videos. Um... Public interviews, you definitely could do some public interviews. I live in New York, so I go to 42nd Street, like nothing. Um, yeah, Blind Day's gonna go crazy too. Make sure y'all tune in. It's gonna go crazy. That's that's all the things that's gonna happen. I could do gaming, like, listen, hear me out on this one. Gaming, I'm not a, I'm not a crazy gamer. Like, I, I played a simple 2K, maybe Fortnite here and there. GTA, oh, and Call of Duty sometimes. That's it, really. That's that's the only thing. Like I could do those, I could do reactions too, but like, more or less, I'm doing like vlogs, blind dates, stuff like that. I'm not gaming. I could do though. Um, I play a lot of 2K with my friends, so it's like I could do that. Um, so if I was an OD crazy gaming person, I would have did it. Uh, so like yeah like pranks and stuff challenges you know content in that nature because all my friends you're gonna see them in the videos like sometimes they be doing some crazy stuff sometimes most of the time though i'm the one doing the crazy stuff though you want me to be really honest like i'm the one really doing the crazy stuff um so you know that's things that we're gonna see you know it's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff happening a lot of crazy content videos. Because a lot of things do be happening. A lot of things do be happening. You see a lot of crazy stuff in New York. A lot of crazy stuff in New York. So on that note, thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Send this out to your mother, your sister, your grandmother, your cousin, whoever. Send it out. Let them watch the video, enjoy them, get to know me. And a new video coming soon after this one. Whoa. And by the time this is uploaded, this should be by my birthday. So don't forget to leave a happy birthday in the comments. And yeah. So on that note, peace.